Hello guys, welcome back to Nashalee's Kitchen. How are you all doing today? Today I'm going to be cooking something delicious for you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Nashalee's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making barbecue chicken. First, I will start with my sauce. And the ingredients that I'm going to be using in my barbecue sauce. So I've got two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. I've got um, two and a half tablespoon of brown sugar. I've got one teaspoon of mustard. I've got ketchup. Be generous with the ketchup. Um, I've got honey. Two tablespoons of honey. Uh, a tablespoon of vinegar. And also... I'm going to put a squeeze of lemon juice. Let's get started. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my heated pot. And also I've got two cloves of garlic. So I'm going to crush those garlic. Just to give that a lovely flavor to it. Come on, behave yourself. And then put that in again. Crush. I love my garlic and my ginger for some piece of That's just me. I love my garlic and ginger. So I'm going to Put that in and there's no special way of doing this sauce this sauce can go with anything so you can put it um with your grill jerk um barbecue jerk sometimes you can jerk your chicken grill your chicken and then put so i'm gonna add the sugar next so that's two and a half table um, sugar so you can see better. That's the sugar. And that go along with your Worcester sauce. Just wait for the sugar to dissolve before you add anything else. for a few minutes um, a squeeze of your lemon juice so you bring that to a boil so you can see sugar is dissolved it's boiling then you add your ketchup Sprinkle of salt, just a little. You can see there. Then you can add your mustard. your honey this sauce is very quick easy and simple as I always said in my video I try to do the simplest thing and the easiest ingredients so it's easy for anyone to catch and then you can find these things in your cupboard so anyone that don't have honey they will definitely have sugar anyone that don't have sugar will probably have honey if you don't want to use the sugar you can just use honey only um, if you're going for a healthier way of doing it um but it tastes delicious now that sauce 
it's just so quick and easy leave that to simmer for a few minutes taste and you wouldn't need no more sugar on it that is just perfect sweet enough and it's got that lovely sticky smoky kind of flavor as well so give that to simmer for a few minutes and I'll add my vinegar sauce is nice and thick and rich so this is ready um, you can have it with anything as I said before but I'm going to be pouring it out my chicken I'm just going to put that aside so and store this one in my fridge for two weeks so I can have it with whatever I want to have so you can store it in your fridge for two weeks I'm going to be using that for later maybe tomorrow eat the chips or something grilled chicken or something but the sauce is nice and sweet it's ready and now i'm going to move over to doing the chicken so now we're going to get started with um our chicken by so i've washed and cleaned my chicken i'm going to season it that one so you season it up so put garlic powder my chicken stock powder so I use, and then I've got some seasoning. So it's got all-purpose seasoning with dry pimento, chili powder, chili um, flake, and stuff like that. So thyme. So it's got all the herbs, fresh herbs and stuff, pimento seed. So I've sprinkled a bit of that, and my powdered ginger. So you can use. Just a little bit of that. So powdered ginger. And then you rub that all in. Marinate it. Well, but today I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be frying my chicken first. I'm going to give it a little bit of brown first. Brown it a bit. So brown my chicken first. I'm browning my chicken first and then I'm gonna pour the barbecue sauce on it and put it in the oven reason why I'm browning my chicken because I believe it adds a lot more flavor to it and you don't need to be worrying about after cooking the chicken springing the water and then pouring it off so this I'm just gonna brown first after the chicken is brown I'm gonna pour my sauce on it and I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes just to get nice and sticky okay So the oil is nice and hot, so I'm going to start. So I'm turning them over. You just need to get it just a little bit dry. Now you can remove them. The chicken to a separate pot without contaminating. To avoid cross contamination. And we will repeat the same.
and then you remove the from the top as well. So the next thing for us to do is to then pour the sauce on top of the chicken, your, your barbecue sauce, and then make sure you coat them properly. Barbecue chicken tastes so much better this way. Now a lot of people probably say why fry first, but to me it's probably too it's probably even longer this way for you guys. I'm all about flavor and if it tastes much better grill or fry first so you can grill it as well and then pour your sauce on so I'm gonna put that into my shaving dish and bang that in the oven so cover it with all the sauce In. Then make sure it's covered. If you want your sauce a little bit darker, your barbecue sauce, you can add browning or soy sauce to it. It's your choice. I did boil chest sauce instead, so. Now nah, that's not another part. So you don't need any foil paper or anything because all I needed to do is to cook for about 20 minutes and then take it out of the oven because I've cooked it on the stove. Put that into your oven. 20 minutes time. I'll see you soon. So now your barbecue chicken is nice and finished. Beautiful. I'm going to enjoy. Enjoy your barbecue chicken, corn and cob, carrots, asparagus, and your greens. Enjoy. Mwah.